For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. Saker very kindly reached out to me and asked if I was interested in reviewing their mini chainsaw and I was delighted to accept the offer. So thank you Saker and let's get started. We're gonna bust open this box and check it out. Everything is very well packaged. The first item out of the box is a 20 volt battery. Next, we've got a charging cable plug. We've got a little wrench. Some lubricating oil. Next we have, this is the chainsaw itself, pretty small, I love the mini size and my first thought is it is nice and lightweight, perfect for people like me that don't have a lot of muscle strength, definitely a good weight to this. I'm sure this is going to be very manageable for me out in the garden. We've got a mini screwdriver and the instruction manual. We're going to do a quick test of the battery before the battery and the chainsaw before I fully charge it. I'm just going to insert the battery into the chainsaw. Just press down on this aqua colored button, slide in the chainsaw. Hear the click and you're good to go. So now we're going to do a quick test. I'm going to put on some ear protection because even for two seconds, I don't want to blast my eardrums. To activate this tool, you're going to want to press the little round button and the trigger at exactly the same time. This is very common on many power tools. You want to press the trigger. And there we go. We know it works. Perfect. So let's charge it up. So here I have plugged in the 20 volt battery into an outlet and it starts off red and should be green when it's ready to go. I'm expecting anywhere from one to two hours for a full charge. So we'll check back when we're fully charged. Back in the garage and we have a green light. It has been it was actually 57 minutes when I came in here. I think it was probably done a fair bit sooner than that. So less than one hour. Before we get started testing out this four inch mini handheld chainsaw from Saker, I am going to lubricate the chain. You want to do this before you use your chainsaw every single time. It's going to make your chainsaw last longer, function better, and work the way it's supposed to work. So I'm actually going to be lubricating my chainsaw with some vegetable oil I put into this little container just a short time ago. The chainsaw comes with this little vial of Lubricating oil, it does not say that I can see, maybe I missed it in the instructions, but I didn't see anywhere where it said specifically what type of oil this is. There was a note saying for fruit trees, you must use vegetable oil because they're not, it's not going to harm your tree. And I'm suspecting this is mineral oil, which they were suggesting might harm your tree. I don't know for sure if this is mineral oil, but to be cautious, I am doing exactly what the instructions say and I put vegetable oil from my cupboard into this bottle and I'm just going to spray it onto the chain to lubricate it. You want to make sure you do not have your battery attached when you are doing this. You don't want any power to the unit when you are lubricating it, but do make sure 
make sure you are lubricating it every time you are going to use your chainsaw. I'm just going to take my spray bottle and spray the chain of the chainsaw in both directions. Just get some oil on there. And hopefully that's sufficient to uh, give this chainsaw good lubrication. So we are going to connect the battery and go outside and do some pruning. This is a California lilac that has been heavily pruned in the last year, at least twice. And we do have some dead material that I'm gonna try to get out with this chainsaw. Starting at the bottom, there's this remnants here that we're gonna see if the chainsaw is up to getting this out. We have a success. I am absolutely delighted. My Saker chainsaw had absolutely no trouble getting through this thick stump. It was like butter. It was really, really fun to do that. And now I am so excited to go do some more pruning on different things. Here is my Desert King fig tree and we're going to test the chainsaw here and see how it does. So far, I am super impressed with this chainsaw. It had no trouble getting through my live fruit tree branch, this thick branch here, no problem at all. So let's test one more plant. Here we are with my bamboo behind me and we are going to test the chainsaw's ability to cut through some good stalks of bamboo. Let's see how it does. Here we are at my, at the base of my bamboo patch and we're gonna be targeting these two and this bamboo here. So let's see how it goes. Oh. large chunks of bamboo cut nice and smooth. My last piece of bamboo had the tiniest little hiccup but that was more my saw angle. As soon as I adjusted it, it was nice and smooth. It is recommended every now and then to check your tension on the chain. I'm not going to go through what that's like in this video but there are instructions in the manual that you can certainly read if you decide to get this chainsaw for yourself. So my final thoughts on my Saker Mini Chainsaw is that I absolutely love it. I am going to be using it a ton in my garden. You are definitely going to see it in videos to come. Thank you to Saker for sending me this mini chainsaw and we will see you all very soon in another video. Have a good day!